All right, so um, here's my little contraption again. Um, I've hooked up uh, this thing called Telemetry Viewer, which essentially just takes some CSV input from uh, the serial port. And um, I've hooked up a couple of the ESP32's touch sensors. Um, and so if I touch this one, something will happen. And if I touch this one, something else will happen. That's a great explanation, huh? Well, let's see what happens. So let's see. Uh, nothing happens here. So um, this one is essentially setting the set point to 100. And then this one here, the yellow one, uh, will set the set point to minus 100. And um, the kind of cool part is, is that I can watch it happen. Now, unfortunately, those touch sensors are a little bit sensitive. It actually just did that all by itself, which is a little spooky. But it's close to Halloween, so that's kind of cool. Um, anyway, uh, I haven't really tuned the PID yet. Uh, it doesn't overshoot, which is great. Um, and I'm going to try to figure out how to do PID tuning here. The, the guy who wrote this, I think, was using this to, uh, to tune... A balancing robot but he, he had he actually made a controller with the the PID inputs on the controller um, now I can't I, I can't send anything to it right now unless I uh, turn on the Wi-Fi uh, if I want to keep Wi-Fi off I'm, I'm and I want to see this graph with this particular tool I, I, there's not much there's not a whole lot I can do um, but the um, you know the controller works pretty good you know I can I can perturb it and uh, you know again it's not really it's not a um, it's not a tuned PID you can see right there's some oscillation happening um, you can see the actual PID values in these uh, in these uh, these 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 charts down here um, I have if the distance is less than five units I actually have it uh, with a, a little bit of a more conservative PID um, but it doesn't like these small perturbations um, a bigger perturbation you can see in the chart there uh, it recovers very quickly um, the other thing I haven't done with this little setup yet is um, is try to see how fast I can go um, I actually had a little bit of debouncing code um, in my uh, the last time I made a video about this and um, it was slowing down uh, what I could do by quite a lot so um, if I crank up the voltage here let's let's crank it up to 20 oh you can hear it there see it's spooky it just clicks on by itself it might have something to do with this uh, power supplies has a mind of its own anyway so uh, I have to test and try to figure out if I'm missing steps or not. It runs quite a bit faster, but it's all working. It's, not, it's actually not overshooting at all. It's counting pretty fast. I did overshoot that time. Come on, buddy. You can do it. I don't want to wait for that. As I said, I got to do some tuning there, but um, yeah, there is a, that is a refrigerator magnet material there, and uh, that's about I don't know, it's about a dollar thirty worth of sensors, which uh, is pretty cool.